One of the most interesting things I've been observing lately in the e-commerce landscape is how older products that were once popular are starting to make a massive comeback. And in today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about this tweet that I made highlighting one such trend. And this one is the bead bracelet kits trend. So as you see, this chart looks crazy, right? This looks like a steep uphill climb to riches, right? Because this product is actually getting a ton of sales in the e-commerce landscape. Now, this is a really old kind of product. I mean, I'm sure, you know, if you're older than 20 years old, you probably have some sort of experience making some sort of bracelet. So it's nothing new, right? But something that we've been observing in the Akemi Lab is the rise of DIY trends. So DIY trends are do-it-yourself trends. So basically, people making arts and crafts. This is having a massive, massive comeback, and you should definitely take advantage of it if this is something that makes sense for you and your business. But what I wanted to mainly do in this video, which is what we'll do just in a second, is explore this further and actually look at some examples of stores that are capitalizing on it. And hopefully it'll give you some ideas and also show you how you can actually capitalize on these trends. If you're in the Akemi Lab, we post a lot of these trends, and a lot of you probably don't necessarily know how to actually take advantage of it. So that's what we'll cover. Let's get right into it. By the way, I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona right now. I'm traveling with my girlfriend. We just wanted to do a little vacation, switch up the landscape a little bit, switch up the biome. And you know, that's why we're here. But if we look up the bracelet kit search on Google, we can find a lot of really interesting stuff, right? And obviously there's some Amazon listings with these sorts of things. But the first one that comes up, the most popular one, not necessarily the most popular one, but the one that Google is pushing first in their search algorithm and their shopping uh, algorithm here is Everlink's permanent jewelry starter kit and black machine. And this is $2,500. What does this tell you? What is the, this is the first thing that we can observe from this niche. <clears throat> this is a high value niche. This is a niche where people are spending a lot of money. They're dropping bands on their kits. I mean, this one's 2,500 bucks. That's crazy. And obviously not every single kit is going to be this expensive. In fact, most are not even close to this price, but this is like a premium alternative. And it just shows you how extensive this category of products is. Now, quick, I want to note something about their website designs. So this will be the second lesson. Their web design is really nice and it's simple. So nice and simple are to me, synonymous these days because I find people to just be getting a little too crazy with their web design lately, and it actually isn't conversion optimized, whereas sometimes just keeping it very simple is better. And here's an example of Google, for example, I just said example like five times, promoting it as the first search result in their algorithm, even though it is so simple. So what does that tell you about Google? It tells you that Perhaps the Google SEO or Google algorithm is favoring simplicity and ease of use. I wouldn't be surprised to find that out, honestly. Now, what's really cool about this store is they have membership options. So where you get, for example, this one is exclusive marketing package. So they show you how you can market your business or whatever it is that you're trying to do when you sell these products. And then uh, just discounts on products because they're kind of like a wholesale supplier, which is super interesting. And, you know, more chain subscriptions. So basically more product subscriptions that you can join uh, from this brand. And of course, the other search results are not like this, but, you know, they have just crazy business, business kits that are super expensive. I just find that so interesting. It's like a teaching people how to actually make money by following a passion like this, a hobby like this. So, you know, just how you guys are watching this because you wanna make money online. A lot of people are starting to get into that mentality of wanting to make money through what they love. And this is only gonna get bigger and bigger, right? So this is one way you could capitalize on it. And this is another brand that's doing something similar. However, this is uh, a lot more affordable. So this is more in line to how I would approach this niche if I were to get into it, it would be by finding a product like this that's easy to buy, it's not a massive commitment, and then adding some really nice assets. So for example, what I would do is I would attach a digital download with this order on 
like and, and put a little banner right here, which is super easy to do and say like, oh, free PDF if you buy this in the next 24 hours or something like that. Um, and, you know, they are doing stuff like that. They're dropping different. So let, let's take a look at this, for example, this knotting kit. So this is actually just a blog. They're so nice. These people are actually making this content for free, showing you how to utilize their product. I actually think this is really brilliant because guess what? It's going to make people trust them so much more. It's going to make people, you know, actually come to the site to learn instead of having to buy something necessarily. So they're, it's, it's a good way to get eyeballs on your products for free, basically. Um, and then, of course, people are going to be sold on the product because all the content here is using the kits that they sell. Great idea. And, you know, their kit isn't that expensive as well. So I, I'm surprised that this one isn't being shown first um, on Google. But at the same time, let's actually look at the traffic and let's see the difference. Let's see who's actually doing better in terms of traffic. Though I will say, just as a disclaimer, this is not this is not entirely accurate. Sorry if I'm getting a little bit too confusing here using too many big words. Maybe you gotta slow this down or watch it twice. But this stuff is pretty valuable, I will say. At least it's helpful for me to review some of these stores I'm getting to study uh, for free. It's pretty awesome. But as you see here, the monthly visits are pretty low on this store. And on this one, let's see, it may not even find any. Okay, so this one is on the come up. See, I actually didn't even know that. But when I looked at these stores, I kind of instantly knew that this is definitely more something that would be successful in today's time and it's popping off. Now, I'm not saying this one is not successful, but I think you could apply all the stuff that they're doing and do it cheaper or even free. Take almost like this Alex Hormozy model and run it up. That's pretty cool. I actually really like this niche. Again, this was posted in the Akemi Lab and I just found it so interesting that I had to make a tweet about it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I actually changed my handle to Ari's Notebook. Super easy to learn. Um, I used to have an underscore. It used to be Ari underscore Shearson. That's not really that good of a username, I realized. So, you know, I decided to just make it Ari's Notebook. So go ahead and follow. I've been posting a lot of my thoughts on there lately. If you are waiting for my YouTube videos, you know, go follow my Twitter. That's a really good place where I'm posting a lot. I'll even show you real quick because maybe you need to see some proof. You see, I'm posting every day. It's fun, it's easy for me to just like put out my thoughts out there. Um, and a lot of data, you know, we're posting a lot of data, for example, um, through the Akemi Lab. Again, a great reason why I love the lab so much is I'm getting up-to-date research every day basically in my pocket and I can post it, I can talk about it, I can use it for my business, etc. Well, that's about it. I'm enjoying my trip here. I'll be back soon, so don't miss me too much. I'll still be posting videos, and that's it. See you next time. Peace.